Hey guys, welcome back for more Made in the Abyss. So last time we went or we started the second layer. By the way, I skipped like 10 minutes and the game crashed. I'm so sorry, but it's only like 10 minutes. Just reach this place. 10 minutes from uh, the second layer start. I just sensed something. What do we do? Do we fight it here? We fell. I mean, I was recording and it crashed. So yeah. That's the context of it. Oh. Yeah, and if anyone watches this though. If no one watches, then it's okay. Nothing happened. Come on. Oh. I'm on it. We basically went underground. Or uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, but we were just running away from these birds. And then we ended up here. Come on. No, I'm poisoned. What's this? Oh, I'm super hungry now. Okay. I just sensed something. I need to eat food first. Wait. I need to uh, heal Rico up before we climb. I just sensed something. Where's Reg? Is he bugging again? Look at him. Look at him. He's bugging, man. Okay, come on. Climb, climb. I just sensed something. Yes, I know you sensed something. I just sensed something. Reach, 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 reach. Come on, man. No, 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 why are you puking now? Oh my god. Okay, thank you, we reach. Oh my god, what is this? Roger, just leave it to me. Okay, we can go down now. But I'm super hungry now. Wait, wait, I'm super hungry. Uh, we need to make food. Uh, craft some bird meat. Yeah, we need to kill some birds now. The wretch kill them. Useless. I'm on. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah. I need to buy food, man. Where can we buy food? No. When attack, a status ailment may occur. I'm poisoned. Am I poisoned? Oh my god, I'm poisoned, I think. Where's this coming from? I'll drive that thing away. Run! Let's just be careful. Let's be careful. We're very close. We're very close. Oh my god. It's the it's the thing again. God, why did you stop? Oh 
Oh no, I need to eat before we go. Oh my god. Um, where is it again? Uh, this one? This useless water balloon? I mean, weather balloon? <laughs> Okay, did we reach something? Well, we're in seeker camp now, finally. But I, I think I'm poisoned, but... I'm on. I just sensed something. Yeah, I'm poisoned, I think. But how can I cure this, though? In gas pour? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't craft anything, right? Uh, meal, items... Yes, this is useless for me, I think. Like, there's another mode in this game. I think this is where we can use this mail balloon. But for me, it's pretty useless right now. I'm not sure. Because I can't use it. I was trying to use it earlier, or oh. the last time. It didn't work. Stop, stop. Okay. Is Reach this a cutscene. the right way to Seeker Camp? Yeah, we should be able to see it soon. I told you I know where we're going. Master, Ooh. Master, Meryl. approaching. There's a new it's character. People. One's a red whistle and the other one doesn't even seem to be a cave raider. So, Master, shall I ready the gondola? Um, Master, you're... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, it's... Rico! I can keep going! Oh, what the hell is this? I need to remove that poison. What is that? A cannon? Wow, there's a cannon. I just sense. Um, give me a second. I need something. Gintoki. Uh, it can be used. Okay. Hmm. Make poison arrows. Bullets, see? We cannot make bullets yet. Poison arrows. This is uh, to use arrows. Gas pour. Okay. Bandage, mail balloon. Heal arm and leg injuries. Something. Okay, we reach. Finally, we reach the seeker camp. God. Wow. So, this is Seeker Camp, huh? Whoa. It's really quite high up there. <laughs> so that brat's still what is alive. This? Is that the what is called it? What do you, what do you call it? White whistle, right? What's her name? Ozin, I think. She's towering. Oh, she's pretty I bet tall. She is over two meters tall. Oh, she's a white whistle. Look. Her hair. How did she manage to style it like that? On top of that, there's that white whistle. This woman must be the white whistle, the unmovable sovereign, Ozin the immovable. Ozin the immovable. Uh, oh, she's very tall. I'm... Hmm. I know you are Liza's kid, right? Um, you must be Ozen, right? That's right. I'm Ozen. Well, let's not stand around and talk. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Rico, are you okay? Oh my, 
Well done enduring the ascent. Although the strain is somewhat lightened around here, I suspect it was still hard on children like yourselves. <coughs> ah, <laughs> how filthy. Oh, I see the boy is doing fine. Yeah, I am fine. Follow me. I'll listen to your stories over here. Finally, we reached Seeker Camp. Oh my god. See, I'm not leveling. I'm not even leveling up. Okay, uh, relics. What is this place? I can't even store anything here. Right? Oh no. Hmm, what is this? So this is. So that that is the curse thing. So that is what uh, they used to bring Rico back when she was a baby. Is that the thing? Oh, it's a telescope. I thought it was cannons. Okay, the guest room. Okay, we finally save. Yeah, apparently not. We cannot save for some reason. Welcome to Seeker Camp. Ozen! Well, well, thank you for saving me! Hmm. I heard about it. When I was born in the Abyss, I was placed in the Curse Repelling Vessel. And then together with my mother, you carried me to the surface! Oh, that, huh? That thing was heavy. Along the way, I often thought about just abandoning you. Huh? This really takes me back. We even had to leave behind that precious bell. <laughs> hey, you're a red whistle, right? You should know you're not allowed to come to a place like this. Um, well, you see, I was summoned by my mother. That's why Reg and I are going to the bottom of the netherworld. Rico. As soon as I ask some things about my mother, we'll be gone before you know it. You can't go so back. Please. Oh, I see. So that's it. And you think that makes it okay for you to come here? Uh, I'm sorry. That said, I'm quite interested in how a red whistle even managed to make it all the way here. Maruk? Maruk? Yes, Master. Listen to what these kids have to say. You want me to do that? Should be easier for kids to talk to another kid, right? Uh, uh... I still have some things to attend to, you see. I'll hear you out tomorrow. Stay the night tonight. Okay. And make sure to really give your bodies a good scrub. I can't stand how bad you reek of vomit. In that case, I'll go ahead and wait at the bathing area. I'm gonna go bathe. Gotta get nice and clean. Understood. Like, I want a save area, not a bathing area. <laughs> Okay, there's no save, Z. Storage. Please use this room. The bath is over there. It's actually used for washing relics, but it does have a flowing mineral spring. Hmm. I'll go first. I'm gonna get nice and clean. Reg, I know you're a robot. But there's something strange about you. Robot? How does she know? Until Rico told me I thought you were a human. What? I don't they really skipped even the part. Think of myself as a robot. What the heck am I? Did they skip the, the part? Place? Oh my god! What did? Why did he skip the it way, though? Maruk, is it okay if I call you that? Yes. To tell you the truth, there's something I find strange too. It's about what you're wearing. Huh? Uh, this. This is what. 
Master wants me to. I see. So, you too have it tough then, huh? Seems we both have our share of troubles. <laughs> oh, come on now, Reg. I haven't had anything that bad done to me. Oh, I see you two are getting on well. How is oh. it? I don't smell anymore, right? She's finished. Yes, you are good. Baruch, you're about my age, but you're already a blue whistle. Huh? Uh, yeah. Usually, you can't become a blue whistle until you turn 15. But it seems being a personal apprentice of a white whistle makes me a special case. Right after I had an accident and collapsed, Master found me and took me in. I've been here ever since. Oh? You have no plans to return to the surface? I'm sensitive to sunlight, so I can't live up there anyway. Ever since Master found me, she's proactively taken on the role of guardian over Seeker Camp. Mm. This way, I don't have to return to the surface all the time, is the reason she gives. And of course, there must be some truth to it, but Master truly takes good care of me. She seems kind of scary, but she's a really good mentor, huh? Yes, truly. Oh, I know! Rico, Rick, I'll go ask Master if it'd be okay. But would you like to stay a bit longer and cave raid around here? What? What? Would that really be all right? It's the first time kids around my age have come here. I'd really love to talk and work with the two of you more. Me too. I'd also like to do that. Hey, we nearly died but, coming here. But I'm sorry, Maruk. My mother's at the bottom of the netherworld, and I still don't know how she's doing. So, I'm not sure whether to hurry or not. And since I'm not sure, I have to hurry. Is that so? Then let's chat a whole bunch today. That's what my master instructed me to do anyway. Yeah. I wonder if she's Understood. still alive, right? Uh, I mean, this show is sad, right? Good morning. They can I've make it yesterday's conversation like when they reach the netherworld, she's dead. When I did, she said say, she has oh, something to talk about. I was about too late or something. So she wanted you to come to her chamber. Got Anyways. it. Thank you, Maruk. Let's just play. Yeah, they could make it a happy one, by the way. It stopped talking. So they can make it a happy one and like we see her mother, right? But they can also make it sad and be like, oh, Rico, you, she died like a year ago <laughs> or something like that. Maybe, who knows? I'm gonna check the anime, the manga, everything after I, after I finish the story mode of this game. Hey, you wanted to hear everything, but are you prepared to take it in? I am prepared, Miss Ozen. Prepared to take it in? Um, what do you mean, Ozen? Nothing special. Just exactly how it sounds. Rico, I have a bad feeling about this. I think we should get a little more prepared before talking to Ozen. What do you mean, prepared? Hey, you wanted... Of course. Of course! Can you tell me about my mother? Oh wait, the auto's not on. Maruk told me about you two this morning. Just to confirm, you're trying to follow Liza's trail, correct? Yes, my mother has called for me. Liza's white whistle was returned. She is dead. Your quest to find your mother ends here. Ozen, why would you say such a thing? But mother is calling for me. That letter? It's not Liza's handwriting. How do you know? I don't know how such a thing got mixed in there. But Liza wouldn't write something like that, even as a joke. Uh, um... But... Oh? Uh, what was your reason for aiming for the bottom of the netherworld again? Uh, I... Uh, want to go 
go and check for myself. Besides, what about the connection between Reg and the mysterious figure mentioned in the letter? Oh, I see. It's not a matter of you not noticing. It's more that no one told you anything, huh? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Now, look at this. That is the a cursed big thing, right? White box. What is this cube thing? The pattern on the surface is incredibly complex. Seems to be at least a grade two relic. But the compilation of recorded relics. Right. It's not listed. Liza bought it herself before it could be auctioned off. I'm the one who carried it here, though. Huh? Could this be the curse repelling vessel? You're half right. Oh, there it is. When living creatures that couldn't make the trip from the depths were placed inside it and carried up, the strains of ascending didn't affect them and they survived, which is why it got the name it did. But that's not actually true. <laughs> In fact, whatever is placed inside still gets affected by the curse and mm. dies. However, a corpse inside starts moving around. It's thanks to you that I came to understand that. You were stillborn, you know. Stillborn? Right. I shoved you inside there because you were a real nuisance. But somehow, you started to move. What? What I mean is that you are a walking corpse. With that said, don't you think it would make sense for you to return to being a corpse at any moment? Hey, how long are you going to last, I wonder? Why, the things you're saying... It's about time you get the picture. I despise you. Oh my god, she's so... That's she's enough! So, uh... Uh, what is it, you Obad child? Your story is quite interesting. But don't hurt Rico any more than you already have. Any way you look at it, you're really immature, Ozen! True. That's something I used to hear a lot. Hey, you. Do you have a conception of what God is? What are you talking about all of a sudden? You see, the people around here don't really believe in God. Instead, do you know what it is they do believe in? The answer is this place. The Abyss itself. Precisely because the bottom of the netherworld is unknown, and because it is feared, it has the power to become their god. Ozen. If it were easy to head down and return back, the value of relics and abyssal faith would quite possibly be shaken to the core. The reason Obards aren't catalogued isn't because they haven't been discovered. It's because they shouldn't exist, you see. Please stop! Ozen! Rico, stay back! Hey, you. Did I hear that you lost your memory? Well, I'm truly glad. I need to dispose of you before you remember anything. Oh my god, she's gonna fight us? M Master, what are you planning to do? I thought she was a good oh, Maruk, per person. Oh, where did you learn to listen in on conversations? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to check on the telescope. Maruk, stay right there. At least stay for the last moments of your friends. How cold of you. Why? Master! You... You can't be serious. As if I'd let things end in a place like this. I'll make you let us go, even if I have to use brute force! 
Oh, I'll let you go. After you've ceased moving, that is. There's no choice. I have to fight! Okay, we're- Oh my god, we're actually gonna- Whoa, 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 oh my god. Run! You s No! Rico, help me! Oh no, I'm dying, man. The, can we actually beat her? Are you going to show me? Oh, he's gonna shoot her. If I just let loose, the whole seeker camp could burn down. <sighs> Refine it. AP shot. <laughs> Thinner, sharper. What? How did she get so close all of a sudden? I mean, she's so, a white whistle. I see you breathe and blink, even though you're just a mechanical doll. That means you too are likely to be hunted by beasts. That thing of yours. What happens oh, no, when he's gonna shoot something? Rico? Let's test it out on this brat. <laughs> oh my, incredible, isn't it? It blasts straight through. I've never seen a weapon like this before. Irredeemable! You're irredeemable, Ozen! Huh? What? What's with your arm? Is something embedded in it? Oh, what is these? that? They're called the Thousand Men Wedges. I inserted them at 120 points or so all around the body. They're the secret to my vigor. This why she's very strong? <laughs> For as much as you criticize me, you're quite superhuman yourself, Ozen! Well, I am attentive to such things. I'm getting on in years, after all. These are the last moments of your life. Enjoy them. The rebound from shooting the incinerator. I have to fight back. Hmm. What happened? You look rather limp all of a sudden. No, my consciousness is fading. Oh my god. She's brutal. Please stop, <laughs> You're so noisy. What is your problem? If you think he's so precious, you should have kept him locked away. For some reason, he went limp all of a sudden. It's fine, though, right? Sooner or later, you'll revert back to being a piece of meat anyway. Is she just testing us, or what? I... Or is she actually I, bad? I didn't descend into the abyss because I hope to live a long life. Even just a little longer is okay. But I... Rico. <sighs> that won't do. You two aren't cut out for it. Uh, uh. 
Uh, what happened? <laughs> oh my god, there's people here now. He woke up. He is awake. Is he broken? Greg. What what's going on? <laughs> Rico. Did I just faint and leave Rico all alone here? Even though I was told to take care of Rico. Wait, he doesn't remember? What? No, wait. I don't understand. Oh, uh, this one's crying too now. Okay, wait. Auto. Oh my. Ozen has made yet another one cry. Poor things. Who, who the heck <laughs> are you guys? <laughs> you mean us? We're the subterranean bandits, Ozen's cave raider squad. Oh. They're a bunch of good for nothings with nowhere to call home on the surface. They were told to stay out of it, but Marouk called them here, you see. Uh, um, I. A little girl who can't do anything but fuss and cry. And a mechanical doll who fires his weapon without thinking, despite the fact it made him faint before. While those two didn't even make a single correct decision, you took the best course of action to save your friends. That's my apprentice for you. Master! As punishment for disobeying my orders, I'll string you up naked later, though. Be prepared, Marouk. <laughs> we were told to stay hidden while the two kitties are here. But everything kept on shaking. Then this child started sobbing and came rushing over to us. Uh, is that right? Marouk, I'm sorry. It's okay, Reg. I know you said you wanted to test Liza's kid, but you really overdid it. Oh, what? she? She was what? testing us. What do you mean by that? Just what it sounds like. Are you saying that was all just... just some act? I was serious. If I didn't go all out, I wouldn't get my point across, would I? I hate silly tricks, you know. The... Then that stuff about disposing of the obod was... I wouldn't do that, of course. You just turned out to be too sturdy, you know. No matter how much I pounded on you, you weren't breaking. So I got more and more into it. How irredeemable. The primeval creatures that inhabit the deep parts of the abyss are far more cunning and tough than I am. If you stay this way, you won't be able to protect that girl. <laughs> so, I'll train you guys a little bit. Oh, wow. What? Ozen? If you continue pushing on at your current skill level, you'll just end up as poor meals or little seed beds. Or you'll just be a stain on the ground or some wall. Though there's no guarantee you won't end up like that as I'm trying to beat you into shape. Mm -hmm. That's it for today's lesson. Get some rest. Yes, thank you very much, Ozen. When you are ready, exit this seeker camp and come to the edge of the abyss. I'll be waiting there. Okay. Understood. Oh, there's a new quest now. Head toward, head to the edge of the abyss where Ozen awaits. Seeker camp was built within the hollows of a tree called Great Porta.
even now, construction to expand the interior frame is still progressing, little by little. Can't you sell me anything, Maruk? Okay, she's not selling anything. I'm on. I just sensed something. And so we need to go to the edge, right? Is this birds? What is this? <sighs> uh, we need the bird oh. meat. Kill them, kill them. I just saw. What do we do? Do we fight it here? No. <laughs> I'll drive that thing away. I'm on. Bird oh. egg. Something. We need to go here, go. not there. Well, I can keep going. I just sensed some. We're here. Stay alive here for ten days. I can't even see her it's face survival anymore. survival training. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. You're ready too, right, Reg? Yes. No problem. This place is somewhere beyond Seeker Camp, far from the Abyss's pit, the outer edge of the Abyss, so to speak. Here, we won't have to worry about running into any other cave raiders, or having anyone come to your rescue. So it's ideal for training, you see. I see. Perhaps because the force field's light doesn't reach here, most of the creatures in the area are quiet and passive. Even okay. so, they can see in the dark, so keep your guard up. Well then, I'm heading back now. What? I told you earlier, it's survival training. Show me you can stay alive for ten days here with nothing but the equipment you've got. One other thing. Be sure you don't go beyond that pillar tree. I'll consider that as trying to escape. Understood. Now do your best to protect that girl so she doesn't return to being a corpse. Let's do our best, Reg. We have to get Ozen to approve of us. Yeah, let's do it, Rico. Edge of the abyss. We reached it. Okay, we got a bandage and balloon. We're still level five, though. Five hemostasis leaf. Okay. Make a hatchet with gathered materials. Pupa carriers. Okay. Oh. I just sensed something. Oh. I'll try that thing. Ah, what the? Are you okay? Oh, Oh my god! I didn't... I didn't see the trap! I need... Oh my... Oh my... Oh my... Oh Okay, what is the other ones? Uh... What do we do? Do we fight up here? I don't know, what is the other quest? Uh... Yupa Carriers... Okay, hatch. The pupa carriers, I think, is the one oh. that was flying. Oh. Do we need to get uh, fight them? Uh. Rico, it's going oh. to be. I'm on. I just sensed something. Oh. Lugworm. Oh. We need to fight those things, the flying things. I'm on. Oh. Was better. Uh, better be. Oh my god! It's so heavy now. Uh, I need to craft a hatchet. They say. Come out, come out. I'll drive that thing away. 
One more, one more, I think. Is that the one? Okay, okay, that was that was it, that was it. We need to find one more. I just sensed something. Yeah, I know, I know you sent something. Oh no, 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 okay? Cleared everything. Uh, we got a long way to go. Yeah, let's do our best, Rico. How's it looking? Mm. Rico is certainly plucky, but her body can't keep up with what she wants to do. And that boy, Rick, he can really take a beating, but. He's constantly losing his nerve and is slow to make decisions, despite the fact he's a mechanical doll. Hmm. <laughs> They're so helpless. Use fishing pole to fish. Make some food. Observe a valley cro croaker. Hunt any type of valley croaker. What do we do? Do we fight it here? What happened, Rico? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just fine. What is a valley croaker? Rico, are you okay? What do we do? Um, where's a valley croaker, though? I just sensed something. Come on, yeah. come on. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah. Okay, there are no fish here. Okay, there's one coming. Come. Hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready. Okay, we got one. Uh, then... No, 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 we can, we can, uh... What's the next one? Valley Croaker mon Monocular Where's the monocle? This one Yes, I know. Can you stop saying you sent something? Oh, what's that? Spike Walker. I just sensed something. Really? Yamatsubi. I just sensed something. Rico! We need to find the Valley Croaker. Yamatsubi. What's that? Over there. Oh! What's that? Atsutsu. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh my god, I need What do we do? Do we fight it here? I just sensed something. Yeah, we cannot find the other one, the valley poker thing. No! Oh my god. So dark, couldn't see anything anymore. 
Down, down, down. What do we do? Do we fight it here? What's that? I just kill it, kill it. I'll drive that thing away. Killed one. Okay, we killed I'm one. Like I'll drive that There's two away. more. Kill it! I just sensed something. I'm on. I'm on it's so heavy, it's so heavy. We need to craft again. Uh, apparently we cannot craft anything. I need to throw some of my items. It's so heavy now. Like we don't need this thing, right? Yeah, we cannot. Like we can't even sell this thing, man. No joke, no joke. We cannot sell even sell this things. Okay, we killed uh how many? Uh, I think we're finally about halfway. Yeah. Let's keep it up, Rico. Okay, Have what's they next? any better? I can't tell. Be it an immature body or weak psyche. They won't be showing real changes in those areas anytime soon. Still just as you predicted, they are making enormous progress in the things they are good at. Well, there are two of them after all, so it's best that they learn to depend on one another. Mm. Otoba, this is Otoba. It's a jumper. Oh no! What do we do? Do we fight? Uh, let me check the map. No! Oh my god. It's so dark, I cannot see anything. I just sensed something. The auto bus are probably inside there. Where's Reg? Come on, come on, come on. I'll drive that thing away. We can't go this way. What? How can we find it then? No, oh, I'm gonna puke again. Where is it? Uh, the map. Okay, okay, it's over there. I mean, there's the call this the whistle. Are you ready to go? Of course, I'm ready. I'm puking again. Oh my god. Except I don't have any stamina left. Oh! There was no trap here earlier! Are you okay? You look a little down. Yeah. 
Thank you, Rake. Yeah, no. I just sent. I'll drive that thing away. Oh. Bug me. Oh. No, I need to climb again. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's so heavy now, I cannot... What? Why can't I use... Is that because I don't have any stamina? Oh my god... Where's my fruits? Here comes another jumper. <laughs> to hell with you guys. I thought we were friends. Do not puke, Rico. Please do not puke. Just puke if when we reach the top. It, it, Rico, are you okay? Well, it look okay. To reach lower ground. What do we do? Do we fight it here? <laughs> yeah, we got the auto us <coughs> feces. <laughs> hey Rico, are you ready to go? See, I'm so sorry. I didn't see. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's head back to Seeker Camp, Rico. Like, see, there's no levels. There's no nothing. So, yeah. Well I think we finished. Uh, or, uh, uh, what? Is there more? Sleepy. Somehow it feels like ages since we were last here. It's actually been 10 days, though. Good job making it through the survival training. Both of you are quite amazing. Oh, you guys are back. In that case, I need to talk to you two. Come to my chamber. Okay, where do we go? Chamber? Uh, 
Now you two are going to head down to the third layer. Third layer. Don't stay in the deep layers unless you want to kill those who are waiting for you. There is an old saying like that, you see. Um... What does it mean? One's sense of time goes mad inside the abyss. It's particularly striking in the depths of the fifth layer. People might intend to stay down there just a few weeks. But when they return to the surface, a few months have passed. Such occurrences are common. So that rumor is true then? It's no rumor. I'm flat out telling you. Well, only those with strange tastes, basically just us white whistles, would try living in the deep layers. That old saying I mentioned about how if you stay there a really long time, the people waiting for you probably die. It's an exaggeration based on this, you know. I get it. You probably think this doesn't have anything to do with you since you don't plan on returning. But the point is, we can't even estimate the extent to which this madness manifests in the sixth and seventh layers. Huh? You know, Liza might not even have spent as much time down there as everyone thinks. Oh. It's been ten years on the surface, but if we assume that only a few years have passed at the bottom of the netherworld, don't you get the feeling there's a very good chance she's alive and well? Mm -hmm. Ow! That flick to the forehead really hurt! Even so, you should do your best not to stay in the fifth layer for long. And why is that? So that you don't bump into any of the other white whistles. The depth's fifth layer, the Sea of Corpses, is as deep as humans can go and return alive. I suppose some of them are there. Those who are down in the abyss right now are. The Sovereign of Guidance, Wakuna the Chosen. Oh, there's still white whistles down there. The Sovereign of Mystery, Srajo the Mysterious. And the Sovereign of Dawn, Bondrood the Novel. All three of them. Among them, Bondrood in particular is an out and out scoundrel. He's not kind like I am, so you better be careful. You are kind? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Now, what I'm about to tell you must not be shared with anyone else. With those words, Ozen spoke of the secrets transmitted from the last dives of generations of white whistles, which are passed down via word of mouth by none but themselves. Perhaps those are the very deepest voices of the abyss people are capable of bringing to us. We heard about the cryptic device used to traverse the fifth layer sea. About how a white whistle's timbre acts as a key to activate a certain class of relics. Hmm. About the mysterious ring of the seventh layer that only a few white whistles are said to have seen. And about the creatures that live along the path to the bottom of the netherworld called gatekeepers. They are shrouded in mystery. When Ozen said she hates deceiving children with silly tricks, she was telling the truth. From start to finish, the monster sitting before us held nothing back. Can you come with us, Ozin? Here. Oh, a gun. Crossbow. What is that? This Crossbow? Is... Oh no, it's an axe. Pickaxe again. Blaze Reap! What is Blaze Reap? That's right. It's a weapon with which Liza the Annihilator spilled much blood. Although it's actually meant to be a tool for cave raiding. You Why do you know have that it, cluster though? of eternal fortunes where I found Liza's white whistle? It was stuck in the ground there like a grave marker. One of Mother's relics! The everlasting gunpowder inside it, called Peace Phobia, works fine. But the outer casing's in bad shape. It can only be used a few more times at best. <sighs> Well, it's a piece of junk that occasionally misfired even back then. We're talking about Liza here, so I bet she's already found a new weapon. I'll show you how to use it. It should be able to act as an alternative to that incinerator of yours. Ooh. 
And also, have Maruk show you to the entrance of the third lair. Yes! Thank you so much! Thank you, Ozen. Turned out to be a good person. In the end. I've been told by Master to guide you two to the entrance of the Depth's third lair. But you really are going to go now. Do you have anything that you regret? No, everything is okay. No, everything is okay! Well then, please follow me. Thank you, Maruk. Heading out already, huh? It'll feel lonely around here. Oh, I just noticed they were purple whistles. It sure will. Still, she didn't even come to see you off. Don't you think that's cold of Ozen? No, it's all right. She's already given us so much after all. Yeah, she took so much care of us. She's taught us many things. It wouldn't be right to ask any more of her. What's this? Despite all appearances, you're quite humble. Bye, Maruk. Take care. We're going to the third layer now. Thank you for everything, guys. I find it hard to say this, but if you came back and said it's impossible after all, it would be oh so nice. Maruk. I've seen off all kinds of people setting out on journeys they won't ever return from. She's crying. But today is the saddest I've ever felt. I mean, you're basically the same age, Rack. and you've been friends, so that's child. why. As expected, they were quick to pick up on cave raiding techniques. Although, I didn't want to let them go until more memories came back. Well, nothing I can do about it. Right, Liza? Good grief, how irredeemable. How very irredeemable. Greg, are you ready? Of course. Let's go, Rico. Here we go. It's a very... Uh, like, a d descent. Uh, that is it that is the main story that was actually just the main story man so they didn't reach uh like the one we saw i think the, in the anime right it didn't reach that story okay i guess i'm gonna watch it now because i want to know how the how the how that thing happened right yeah, enjoy it first the, the credits so yeah the game is pretty how do i put this it is okay graphics wise i mean it looks like the, the show it pretty much looks like the show it's no difference right but yeah the gameplay wise it was just very uh, a little bit annoying when you cl when you're climbing a little bit right it became uh, a little bit annoying like you keep puking you keep needing to eat food yeah, it was kind of annoying like that but other than that it's decent the game is decent like i saw people saying that this game was how much 60 bucks on on their country yeah for my country it's like I, mean, I think it's regional pricing yeah but it was like to how much uh about 20 bucks yeah it's so expensive if you don't buy this if you're gonna pay like 60 bucks no 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 this is, i don't i don't know how worth the game is because 
I have I haven't even tried the other mode. Like how far can we go? Can we reach the seventh layer? Like how low how, how how many layers can we reach on the other side on the other mode? The other mode basically you can create your own character, your own custom character. I think there's two of them. So yeah, you can go down and ascent using them. Oh, we don't know how worth it the game is right now. The, but uh, you see, if you see the reviews, yeah, the reviews are so low. Like literally low. I don't know why. It's pretty decent. It's not like uh, I'm not gonna say Rune Factory style. Not like that. But yeah, I kind of like it. I hope they increase the story a little bit. It was very short. Like how many hours? Three hours for that story uh, story thing? Yes, only three hours. It was so short. The bulk of the gameplay is probably most likely on the custom character side. I'm going to watch this now. There was uh, the show is 13 episodes, right? There are three movies. I read it yesterday. The first movie and the second movie were uh, basically a recap for the first series, right? The third movie is basically a sequel now from the first series that you need to watch before you go and watch the second season. The second season now is up to see episode. 10 I think 10 or 9 yeah we'll wait until that finishes so we start that it's probably gonna be like 13 episodes again but yeah this this the score in the anime was pretty high for the second season as well like usually it goes lower every time a new season comes for animes like the shield hero anime <laughs> the first season was extremely good then I saw the reviews for the second season they said it was so bad they skip a lot of things or something like that I don't know why, but I haven't watched it, watched it yet because of that. Okay, let's check it out. Let me skip it. Okay, there's nothing happening right now. Let's see what happens. You can now play Deep in Abyss, okay. So you played like three hours. Yeah, so we just, uh, so maybe, oh, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, do a let's play of the Deep in Abyss. We're just, we just played the Hello Abyss. I'm, I'm gonna just check it out because I, it doesn't have any story anymore. It's basically just exploration, right? It's, uh, kind of bad to do a let's play without actual story in it. So, yeah. Uh, this is probably the end of the Made in Abyss game, and I'll see you in the next game I play, okay? So, bye bye